Understanding Shulchan Oretch, a deep dive into Jewish tradition and language. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our language learning series. Today, we're exploring a fascinating Hebrew phrase, Shulchan Oretch. This term is deeply rooted in Jewish tradition and has a rich cultural significance. Whether you're a language enthusiast or curious about cultural expressions, this video is for you. Shulchan Oretch directly translates to set table in English. At its core, it refers to the arrangement of food and dishes on a table. However, its meaning extends far beyond a simple dinner setting. In Jewish culture, it signifies the main meal of the Passover Seder, a pivotal event in Jewish religious practices. The term Shulchan Oretch holds a special place in Jewish history. It's directly associated with Passover, a major Jewish holiday that commemorates the exodus from Egypt. During Passover, families gather for the Seder meal, where each food item on the table symbolizes an aspect of the Exodus story. The Shulchan Oretch represents not just a meal, but a reenactment and remembrance of historical and spiritual liberation. Understanding Shulchan Oretch requires familiarity with the Seder meal's components. Key items include matzah, unleavened bread symbolizing the haste in which the Israelites left Egypt, maror, bitter herbs representing the bitterness of slavery, karoset, a sweet paste symbolizing the mortar used by the Israelite slaves, ziroa, a roasted shank bone commemorating the sacrificial lamb, Baitza, a roasted egg, signifying renewal and the circle of life. Each of these items is arranged meticulously on the table, forming the Shulchan Oretch. Shulchan Oretch is more than a phrase. It's a gateway into understanding a vital aspect of Jewish culture and religious practice. It's a beautiful example of how language intertwines with tradition, history, and spirituality. We hope this video has been enlightening and has added a new dimension to your language learning journey. Until next time, keep exploring and expanding your linguistic horizons.